This PowerPoint will be focusing on periodontal maintenance. Periodontal maintenance schedule. We typically schedule at a three month interval, a four month interval, and sometimes a six month interval. These would be patients that are also being treated by a periodontal specialist and will alternate between their office and our office every three months. The goal of periodontal maintenance is the removal of plaque and calculus from supra and subgingival regions by using a combination of Cavitron and hand instrumentation. Maybe you'll need to do site-specific SRP where needed. There might be the need for a delivery of localized antimicrobial, if applicable, such as the Restin. And then a full mouth probe. Full mouth probe is recorded each time at every maintenance appointment. This is in comparison with a regular adult recare patients, which are usually just recorded one time per year. But at our periodontal maintenance, appointments, we record them each and every time. Then we do our polishing and a fluoride treatment, again if applicable. Usually x-rays are done once per year and there will be alternating exams as most insurances only allow two exams per benefit year. We want to then set up their next three to four month recall appointment. Periodontal charting standards. Periodontal probing and charting. We want to do it on every new adult patient, age 18 and over. We want to do it one time per year on all adult patients in preventative care, so those that are just coming in for their regular profies. We want to do it every periodontal maintenance appointment. We use the six point probing on every tooth. All depths must be charted, not just depths of four or more. We want to chart bleeding, recession, frication involvement, and mobility. Periodontal disease is a progressive condition that can affect one's oral and overall health. Emerging research indicates a link between gum disease and a variety of other health conditions. These include heart disease, stroke, diabetes, lung infections, and other degenerative diseases, which can be life-threatening. This is all according to the American Dental Association.